Donald Trump's new chief of staff could not be more different than the president himself. Whereas Trump has presided over a White House that has been roiled by chaos. The problem with this is that we've seen changing narratives. Disorder. You can't make up what's going on. And backstabbing. He's a showboat. He's a grandstander. General John Kelly is known for his insistence on discipline, order, and a stable chain of command. While Trump has never served in the military, he claims to have great respect for the generals. And Kelly fits the bill. He's a retired four-star general with a decorated 42-year military career. Kelly's challenge is not only to bring order to the White House, but to help push Trump's agenda through an unruly Republican Congress that has already defied the president on big issues like health care. This is how a career soldier found himself the gatekeeper to the most disorderly White House in modern history. John Francis Kelly was born on May 11, 1950, in Boston, Massachusetts, into an Irish Catholic family. At 16, he hitchhiked and hopped trains across America until he joined the Merchant Marines. Then, in 1970, he enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps, seeking higher education. He obtained a bachelor's degree from the University of Massachusetts and a master's of science and national security studies from Georgetown. After rising through the ranks of the military, Kelly became a four-star general, eventually becoming head of the U.S. Southern Command in 2012. Perhaps his strongest suit is both his leadership skills and the perception of his leadership skills. That's Margaret Talov. I'm the White House correspondent for Bloomberg, and I cover President Donald J. Trump. On January 20th, 2017, Trump tapped Kelly as Secretary of Homeland Security. In those uh, very early months of the Trump administration, General Kelly helped President Trump carry out and to defend his immigration policies with the travel ban and with uh, the president's now infamous tweet accusing President Obama of having tapped him at Trump Tower. If the President of the United States said that, he's got his reasons. And so uh, President Trump came to see General Kelly as supportive. After leading the department for six months, his tenure was cut short. John Kelly was announced on a Friday in the middle of a rainstorm. John Kelly will do a fantastic job. His first day on the job was Monday morning, and Anthony Scaramucci was out. It has all happened really in the blink of an eye. The message that he sent by dismissing Anthony Scaramucci so quickly on day one uh, was unmistakable to everybody at the White House. While keeping strict order and control in the White House is one of the main responsibilities of the Chief of Staff, it remains to be seen if Kelly has the political acumen to navigate the murky partisan waters of D.C. politics. Unlike previous Chiefs of Staff, Kelly has no experience playing politics and is admitted to having little patience for Capitol Hill. If lawmakers do not like the laws that we are sworn to enforce, then they should have the courage and the skill to change those laws. Otherwise, they should shut up and support the men and women on the front lines. It's only six months in, but it's been a very rocky six months. You no. Back. No. Next question. It is job to calm the waters, to get the president and Congress working together so that he can execute the president's mission. Now, his reputation thus far is being sort of averse to that process, but look, that hasn't been his job until now. General Kelly will go down in terms of the position of chief of staff, one of the great ever. Will Kelly be the first staff member to rein in and tame the Trump White House? Or will he be pushed out or resign like so many before him? Whether they can actually coexist and provide sort of a yin and a yang to one another is really the question to be determined. The answer to that question will probably hold a key to how successful John Kelly can be.